Cobra and Crane. What's up, good YouTube? Hangpe Gaming is here with you another video about Warframe, and today I'm gonna give you the signature weapon of Baruch, the Cobra and Crane Prime. All right, so Cobra uh, and Crane is a Baruch, a signature sword and shield, processing a high status chance, and its shield can be thrown similar to the Sigma Octantis when used by Baruch. The first strike of this weapon will put enemies to sleep. So you get the idea. But we're not gonna be using Baruch because I don't think that you're gonna be using Baruch because Baruch. You know, that's how Baruch, you're not gonna be using uh, this weapon with Baruch, so you're gonna be using it with a different frame, that's why we're gonna be using Nidus, uh, why Nidus, so we don't boost the weapon in any way, so you can feel free to use the weapon with any frame that you desire. Alright, let's gather up your enemies, and show them some of this power, baby, alright, we're gonna reach uh, 12 stacks, and then respawn the enemies, this is level 185, heavy corrupted uh, gunners, this enemy is uh, doesn't joke at all look at that he's dead and this guy left and he's dead all right now 12 combo multiplier and we're gonna summon more enemies indeed all right on and let's go boom 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 as you can see the weapon doesn't fail on making some nice uh damage so, we're gonna take the weapon to further test and benchmarking where to Steel Path. In case you're a new player and you don't know how to unlock Steel Path, Steel Path uh, is the next level of the Star Shard. Means when you finish all the nodes in your Star Shard, you're gonna unlock Steel Path after you finish the Angels of the Zareman quest. So, unlock all, all nodes, Angels of the Zareman quests, go to any relay and speak to Tessian. Why uh, Steel Path? Because Steel Path is gonna give you enemies level plus 100, means harder. And shield and armor uh, and health are plus 250 percent. 250? Oh my god, that's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot for new players, but it become part of our life for veterans. Yeah, so we get the idea. We're gonna hack uh, this device. So we spawn this enemy. This is a survival of corrupted enemies. Let's go. Okay. We're gonna have Epitaph as a, a second uh, thing. We're gonna collect enemies. And getting some stacks. You don't want to be without stacks. Now you're asking how you're invisible. It's part of the Parazon. Boom, boom, boom. Killing enemies. And we're going to be using Panzer Papaila, of course. Now, look at this weapon. How good it is. Many Thanos was telling me... I mean, before I build this weapon, many Thanos was telling me, Hey, Cobra Crane is a bad weapon. I mean, why would you make a build about it? Bro, it's a very awesome weapon. I'm telling you, it's not bad. The only thing that these weapons are having a very, very bad time, especially when the uh, meta now is glaives. Why glaives? I can explain it to you in a very short way. What the uh, doing is they making uh, the weapons like Cobra Crane, Nirnami Skyla, uh, Tomfaz, and everything being used only by tanks. What I mean with that, because there is the Eximus units gonna kill your Warframe if you stay too close to enemies, and enemies are tough. So, it's that, that doesn't mean the enemies are so powerful, all enemies are so squishy because we can deal with them, especially with armor stripping and all that kind of things. But why? Why would you bother and do a lot of synergy when you can just one-shot them from distance, right? Why, why, why would you make it hard for yourself? Are you crazy? No, you're not crazy. So, that, that, that's what is happening. What's happening is in a, uh, Warframe making the game very bad for this weapons. That's exactly what's happened. So they're becoming uh, sitting in the garbage for mastery. So you mastery and that's it. You use them for mastery, you level up your uh, ranks. Even reaching legendary five, <laughs> there is nothing behind it. I mean, I really hope that legendary has a, a different uh, like hidden features. Like for example, Legendary 1 unlocks for you a certain story, Legendary 2 unlocks for you a certain... Like so people start to push for Mastery. Not like right now, Mastery 16 you get everything, and Mastery 30 you just boost people in the relay. While you can just Mastery 16 you can just go and boost everybody, uh, get boosted by others in the relay that work so hard, so it doesn't really matter. So, War is spawning baby! So, uh, we're gonna have uh, 2 in 1. Uh, so we're gonna kill Vor and we're gonna kill the Acolyte in one time, baby. Let's go. So, my quick tip for you when Vor spawns, the first thing you wanna do is mark him. That's the first thing you really, really wanna do because he jumps a lot. He gives you some kind of beam that do damage to you and etc, etc. So, 
you want to really to get rid of him and any shining enemy that you see like this guy right here that's an eximus unit try to get rid of them they're really massive enemies and they don't get affected by your abilities so get rid of them okay simple as that so as you can see slash viral typical way boom 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 here we go okay here is he and we're gonna give him one heavy attack let's hope he doesn't run away Okay, we, we, we shatter him, we shatter him, we shatter him, he's done, he's done, he's gone, he's done, he's gone. Oh, he, okay. Now we're gonna wait for the Acolyte to spawn, and we're gonna to get uh, him killed, like we always do. Now, the question is, Hank, what's the difference between uh, each melee weapon build? It's not actually the difference between the weapon builds, like most of the weapons, like they are almost identical builds. Like you can name the blood rush, whipping wound, uh, condition overload, prime pressure point, vicious, uh, vicious frost, or whatever it is, uh, prime achiever strike, uh, uh, steel, everything, everything, everything is, is, is almost the same. But the thing is, is I'm here explaining to you not only the weapon, I'm explaining to you as well different things, and you're watching it in real time. What I mean with the real time, every weapon I do it as a first time weapon in the channel, it's always going to be a real time. I'm not going to edit it. When I'm going to start editing and putting memes and stuff like that in like uh, other videos is when the weapon I'm going to do broken stuff with it. For example, I do crane uh, prime damage cap, crane prime like uh, level cap. Then you're going to see like uh, fast runs. But when I started this runs, I don't want to leave anything behind. So I explain it to you and you see the weapon acting in real time. I know, this sounds boring, looks boring, I know, especially Warframe, it's kinda boring at some point, but we love the game, it is what it is. So here is uh, Torment, boom boom boom, let's give him one heavy attack, we shatter almost his HP. Now remember, this is without any buff, any boost, anything, this is a pure damage, the weapon against enemy, no armor stripping, no uh, Eclipse, no Exata, no anything, no invisibility, uh, for, uh, for stealth uh, damage nothing okay just you and the weapon okay now let us extract uh, while we're extracting let me give you some extra tips uh this weapon still usable in my opinion but i don't think you can you want you want to use them with uh frames that uh they are kind of squishy my high recommendation for you that you use them with tanks like take revenant take rhino take uh, uh, uh atlas take um uh, like let's say uh, Neza take Nidus take some any some uh, some any frames that can tank and get close to enemies so you can actually enjoy these weapons otherwise you're gonna have a bit hard time thanks to DE they don't take care of these weapons by boosting them by giving them some features by creating different stuff anyway enough complaining uh, let's get the deal equipment arsenal let's go all right and Nidus Prime there we go, steel charge, primate Fu arcane fury, arcane strike, this is the only boost you're having from him. It's just a couple of arcanes and steel charge. I didn't use larva burst and continuity combination for corrosive, I didn't. Okay, uh, the archon shards is very important because there is archon shards that boost, the crimson can boost your critical damage for melee weapon. This one is just health regeneration, okay. Epitaph to primer uh, the enemies, I didn't use it uh, in this uh, video. And ogre seeker statue chance, this if you're facing some kind of tough enemy, Prime him with the epitaph, he's dead. Okay, now Cobra Crane, uh, here we go. 11th, uh, 11th Storm, Organ Shatter, Berserker Fury, Vicious Frost, Condition Overload, Blood Rush, Sacrificial Steel, Whipping Wound, and Primate Fever Strike. And you are ready, baby. You are ready. Okay? Uh, if you want, if you don't have uh, Sacrificial Steel, of course you can use the normal Steel. If you don't have uh, Primate Fever Strike, of course you can use normal Fever Strike. If you don't have Organ Shatter, you can use Gladiator Mag. If you don't have Gladiator Mag, you can use Organ Shatter. goes both ways. If you don't want to use Berserker Fury, of course, you can use the uh, Primate uh, Fury right there. Now, uh, the weapon doesn't have a, a base of uh, Slash, as you can see right here. So, we're not going to be using the uh, Primate Pressure uh, Point to boost the Slash. So, Condition Overload will do. Okay? Now, uh, the weapon does a high impact uh, damage. Uh, yeah, so uh, you can use Shattering Impact for impact damage reduce enemies armor by 6. That's something you can play uh, around uh, with. Alright? 
Uh, now another one is to keep your combo multiplier with power uh, spike and we're going to be using the uh, Panzer of Volpofeila. Panzer Panzerpofeila builds uh, how to get Panzer Panzerpofeila is going to be up there and this is the build. Why Panzer Panzerpofeila? It's because it's best fed, going to keep you alive, going to cast uh, viral for you, it's going to help you a lot through your journey especially if you're going uh, solo, okay? So yeah. So uh, by this we come to an end to our video. I really hope you enjoyed the video and uh, the build. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna try uh, the weapon, if you're interested in the weapon. And let me know what is the next weapons you'd like to see. And uh, that can let me know, let me know, let me know what more content you'd like to see. And I really accept criticism, so you can criticize me the way you really uh, like it. Uh, but in a respectful way, I was gonna get thank you for watching. So uh, don't forget sub, comment, like, join our Discord. The link is on the description. Big love to you all, and see you next time. Bye.